So hey there guys, um, I'm going to show you how to uh, present your uh, website for the Minnesota's class. Uh, this, these are all the criteria that you have to include um, within it and what you should show uh, for, like show us in your video. Um, so first we'd like you to introduce yourself. Um, just your first name's good. Um, both partners, just say hey. Um, tell us where you chose to go. So uh, I went to Dubai, and I'm just gonna double window window this for you so you can look at the criteria at the same time. Um, okay, so tell us where you went. Um, talk about each page for their design. So my design was uh, kind of simple. Uh, all I did was I created a giant div and then within the div I put all my content. Um, each one of these boxes is a div as well. Um, these divs are also inside of this gigantic table so that they're laid out in a kind of ordered fashion. Um, and then this is positioned uh, with a static positioning, uh, the, the title and the uh, uh, buttons. So you got the home page, uh, the hotel, just kind of facts about the hotel, um, uh, the cost, what types of hotels, um, what it's like, different sites you can see in um, in Dubai. Uh, this is their uh, seven-star hotel, most expensive hotel in Dubai. Um, and these are uh, the Palm Islands. So, uh, Activities, more about it. Uh, so that's what you're going to do. You're just going to explain uh, what you got on your pages, a little bit, kind of how you did it. Um, and talk about, uh, tell us something that was hard to figure out. Um, something hard that I had to figure out was. Uh, going up and down. You see how this is like kind of hovering over and the rest of it's scrolling. So it was kind of hard to figure out uh, how exactly to make this uh, this scroll on top as well as the, uh, the footer. And if you notice when I make the window go close, uh, like smaller or bigger, all this stuff uh, resizes itself in order to compensate for how big the screen is, like this. Anyways, um, so that was my hard task. Uh, what colors and font did I use? Um, well, I used Arial just because I didn't really think of anything else to use. Um, black, purple, um, I think I used white in one of these pages just because it was hard to see. Uh, no, no, I think I thought I was thinking of this page, but I used a background. Um, um, so Dubai, I thought it was funded by uh, like lots of tourism, but it's actually uh, funded by uh, the large oil uh, deposits. So there's a lot of oil, uh, oil drilling, I guess, and uh, so that's what funds their uh, their massive towers and their uh, man-made. Uh, where, where is it? They have it somewhere. Their man-made land masses, as well as their uh, their 
Um, very, very expensive metro. Ah, okay. So, what else? Um, let's have you show us the uh, the external CSS and stuff. So, I got my index HTML. Um, that's my home page right here. And then it's uh, moved around by this uh, this index right here. It's index.css. Um, so here's all the positioning and all the backgrounds and all kinds of stuff. It's also uh, broken up into classes and IDs and tags. So um, uh, HTML code. It's not really what we. Oh wait, that's there's something else. Um, so I got my images separated into a separate folder just to keep it clean, so you can really see where everything is. Um, sites page got CSS for that. Um, hotel page got CSS for that. Got CSS for that. Um, so. All my CSS is um, split up for each individual page. Um, uh, pretty much all this stuff, I uh, I kind of knew. I have a friend that's going, and uh, and he's talked to me about it um, as well. This uh, this information right here. Uh, I got the source, just the little uh, link, and then um, I got the footer. I did, yeah. See, this is my link. Um, I did do borders around all of my stuff. Um, I thought this was kind of cool. It just kind of. Um, Shows you a little bit more of the scrolling, like the background is static, but the images and stuff are moving. So I thought that was kind of a cool effect. Um, so I did use CSS for positioning. Um, we can go back to that. So. Uh, the background is fixed. So in order to do uh, the way I did this, um, so the background is first displayed, and then it's fixed to the screen. And then um, after that comes these, uh, these boxes right here. Um, because as the HTML is read, it is printed on the screen, um, you uh, you write the code in the order you want it to be displayed. So, since I wanted this uh, this uh, toolbar, I guess not really a toolbar, but a, a banner. Um, since I wanted that on top of everything, I put that last in my HTML, um, and so so it works. Um, I didn't add any video or audio. You can add some if you want, but there's not really anything that I could find that made any sense. Um, so there you go. Um, just present it like that, I guess. Um, you can do your own little mix, I suppose. Um, but make sure you split up the work between both of the partners and um, let the partner talk about what he did and let, um, let you talk about what you did. Uh, and you should be good. Um, good luck.